5G is gaining significant momentum and growing fast. And although the 5G technology sector is dominated by large incumbent vendors, there are still many innovators and disruptors playing an important role, advancing the market and building long-term opportunities. One of those companies is Enea, and I'm joined now by Jan Hagland, the CEO of the company. So Jan, Enea has grown quite significantly during the past few years, driven in part by a string of acquisitions. Can you tell us about that? Sure, thank you, Ray. Yeah, Enea is a, a company headquartered here in Stockholm, Sweden, where I am today. But we have significant footprint in especially Europe and North America. We've been around in telecoms industry many years, mainly through embedded software. Uh, but as you say, through, uh, during the recent years, we've grown significantly and expanded into network applications. And part of that has been through strategic acquisitions. Uh, three years ago, uh, we uh, acquired Open Wave Mobility. That took us a leadership position in video optimization and also data management, specifically network data layer. Uh, then we also acquired a business unit from Atos also in data management, but more in policy and access control applications. Uh, and our most recent acquisition, also in data management, was a company Aptilo, uh, specializing in uh, policy and access management for Wi-Fi uh, and Internet of Things. And I think this combination of 5G and Wi-Fi makes us pretty unique in the industry, something to watch out for. Okay, so uh, Ania has been very busy in sending clear intent and signals to the market there. Um, so you mentioned data management and clearly 5G data and data management is absolutely critical to the operators. Uh, but do the operators appreciate its value? Yeah, we've selected data management because we believe that there is a lot left to do, both for us as a supplier, but also for the customers. It's been talked for many years about data as the new oil. Um, but, but I think there is more to do in monetizing the value of data. Hyperscalers have certainly shown how that's possible. We know that operators are in a, a bit of a different situation with safety and integrity requirements. But now with, with the venue of uh, 5G, uh, Internet of Things, uh, autonomous vehicles, uh, smart cities and all those things, there is an opportunity to leverage data and also to introduce business models which are data centric. So that's what we're pioneering right now together with leading customers. So why should operators come to Enea for their 5G data management applications? Well, Enea is a software, pure software company offering products for data management. Uh, one of the key offers is, is the network data layer. And this is really the key solution to step away from islands of data, vendor specific islands or application specific islands and instead having one consolidated layer of data that you can provision and monetize in a more straightforward way. So that's number one. Number two is that this enables applications to be built in a, in a new and quite frankly less complex way. So we also have applications for unified data management, policy control, access control, all leveraging this network data layer. And thirdly, it's more about the processes and the kind of operations that you can run with these kind of new cloud native software applications. I mean, you can run much faster development cycles, much faster deployment cycles based on continuous integration and deployment. And you can also run a, a cheaper operation with lower total cost of ownership. So our offering is really based on cloud-based, cloud native products for 5G and 4G data management. And have you had much commercial success so far with your 5G data management applications? We believe we're first in uh, creating solutions for 3GPP release 16, uh, especially then 5G data management for service-based architecture. And thanks to that, we've had significant commercial, release, uh, commercial success where we are now in deployment with a number of uh, important tier one operators, both in North America and in Europe. Uh, I mean, these are advanced customers uh, pushing themselves and pushing us, but uh, we're really happy about that because that uh, accelerates our speed of innovation and deployment. 
Uh, and we're in discussion and uh, with many other uh, operators. There's a great interest to, to obviously deploy 5G, but also 5G in the way it's intended to be, based on the service-based architecture, based on cloud-native uh, software. So uh, we see a lot, of, uh, a lot of opportunity in this space, and, and our intention is to continue to win and to be the leader in this space. Well, as you said, it's early days still for 5G and, and lots of momentum and lots of activity still to come. And data management is only going to play a much bigger part as the years go on. So, Jan, thanks very much for joining us today. Thank you, Ray. Thank <laughs> you.